Uh, hello, everybody. I have 20 minutes, 80 slides, uh, clicker and mic, so I have fully weaponized it. So let's go. Now I'm speaking on behalf of Scala Strange Life security team. Uh, we're trying to save humanity from industrial disaster and to keep purity of essence for sure. Uh, so traditionally, we start our presentation from uh, battle map from the ICS battle map uh, system connected to the internet. But uh, this year we, we will skip it uh, because of John. Uh, John, uh, who built ICS map uh, based on our, our research, based on research of different guy, said thanks to us. So we thanks, said thanks to John, and John again said thanks to us. So thanks, John. But uh, last year we published uh, this picture about uh, different type of industry control system connected to the internet and we get very strange feedback but you know this is not ICS this is honeypots this is not serial stuff this is some strange guys you lying this is not uh, related to ICS security and this starts to check in uh, first uh, system ICS a chip it's uh, was a real-time multitasking operated system with TCP IP web server on the board. So we think what we like, what we like to play with. Uh, we start to Google. Uh, we found that this chip uh, often use it in different application. And most interesting for us is uh, Solar Rock. Solar Rock is a small SCADA which operate uh, inverters uh, for solar uh, plants installed on the roofs. Uh, sometimes it's small plants, sometimes big plants. By the way, this system uses it to manage about one million of invert inverters, and these devices generate about seven gigawatts of uh, power. It's a big number. Uh, and this system have kind of uh, social networking capabilities. So you can use it to find the area and find even plant where uh, this system is installed. installed. And for sure, this system has a firmware. If, if uh, we see firmware, we start in reverse engineering. And uh, you can get from firmware different stuff. Simply stuff is uh, Google Docs. Via Google Docs, you can find much more uh, system installed, solar rock system connected to internet. It's about 55,000. And uh, this system uh, have password protection, for sure. It uh, have security features. Uh, but if you use a direct link to configuration download, you can download this configuration without any password and find encrypted password inside. Uh, so uh, one interesting thing is firmware update process uh, because during this process you can uh, specify uh, direct name of the firmware file to which area of the file system you want to upload this firmware. So you can write arbitrary file on the file system. Uh, and uh, this is my first challenge. Uh, the first one to guess uh, uh, the correct file to overwrite on the file system will get uh, a t-shirt or free beer. Uh, uh, let's remind uh, there is a disk A, disk B, something from the old stuff. Excellent, you got it, you first winner. Uh, catch me after the talk, I'll give you t-shirt like on me. So it was fixed in collaboration with uh, uh, German third. Thanks, guys. Uh, but after this, we uh, find this Twitter. Uh, solar panels are not so renewable, guys. Light absorbed forever. So we decide to invest our knowledge in power to understand how green power is dangerous. And we start to show them again. Uh, this is another system, a sunny web box. About 80,000 of system are connected to internet. Uh, and uh, simple Google search uh, helps you to find the password. Default password is SMA uppercase, but in uh, documentation, you can find the default password is SMA lowercase. 
And what is correct? Both. But uh, if you will continue to read documentation, you will find additional default password like for zeros or for ones. And it also works. But if after documentation you will, uh, you will check firmware, you will find very interesting stuff. But there are two additional accounts, service and developer, and additional authentication type hard-coded password. What does it mean? We don't know yet because no patch it yet. Uh, it's not patched, but in process in collaboration with ICS cert. But simple sh Google search can help you to find about uh, 100 of gigawatts or megawatts, sorry, of power. If you combine with different energy source, it's uh, like a small hydroelectric uh, station uh, in Elps. It's about uh, near Tselamzi. Uh, my favorite ski resorts. Uh, it's all about sun, but let's talk about wind, uh, because uh, wind uh, farms also uh, consume uh, wind and can consume all the wind of the world, uh, on, in the world. Uh, thanks to previous SAS, uh, we found old uh, storage showdown search for north wind system. It's not uh, much, it's about uh, 200 in the world. But this system based it, uh, have a long story of vulnerabilities. And what's interesting, it based on very old platform, Jetty platform, uh, version number three. Current version is uh, number nine. So it's very old. Uh, simple CVE search helps you to find a lot of vulnerabilities related to this platform. And I even don't want to speak about it. Because to hack it, it's like to hack a grandma real-to-real -real recorder. Uh, by the way, it's like it looks from internet. It's, uh, it, it, and in real life, it's big, industrial, great stuff. Uh, sometimes it can look different way. Why? Because uh, it's, uh, it, the system has a, a lot of uh, mechanics in, in, inside. It has uh, uh, additional engine to start breaks and you can manage it via internet. I think it's insane. Uh, how much power aware? About one gigawatt. It's special picture of uh, uh, Boucher uh, nuclear plant because it has the same power without Stuxnet at all. Uh, so if you combine it all together, uh, we will uh, calculate that uh, for free showdown search, we can get access to uh, 8 gigawatts of instant power. It's about uh, uh, hydroelectric station uh, in Brazil, number five in the world. It's a lot of energy. Uh, so we decide to launch uh, project SCADA source, which uh, helps to find and fix uh, internet connected uh, smart grid devices. So uh, feel free to collaborate. Uh, it's uh, on our website, on our blog. But uh, let's uh, come back to social networking capabilities of modern smart grid. Uh, it's all about uh, gamification. Why? Because one ga uh, guy can show that I generate a lot of power and uh, our friend of him can say, OK, I also generate a lot of power. Uh, what I want to say, gamification sucks in this case because this is uh, uh, lead to connect all these system in the cloud. And cloud, SCADA in the cloud, in my opinion, it's, it's terrible idea. Uh, why? This is SolarRock uh, SCADA uh, cloud platform. Uh, you can check your or your friend's uh, power plant. Uh, also, you can che uh, check different uh, HTTP request, for instance, here is uh, you can find that this is PHP application, and here you can find that the simple SQL injection uh, method also works here. So you can uh, get all database of all devices connected to this cloud platform, download information, update software where via management command, and uh, become a little king of the solar plants. For sure, it was fixed. It was fixed in collaboration with uh, uh, German Serbund. Uh, 
Good question from the session host. Can we trust uh, to uh, such smart grid uh, solution? Uh, my answer is no. Why? Uh, uh, when this first time start to fix this vulnerability, we uh, connect to ICS cert and ICS cert say, it doesn't appear uh, this system uh, to be sold in the United States. So please connect to, uh, uh, directly with Fender or uh, German cert. But in, after two months, uh, SolarWalk announced information about uh, integration in uh, GE smart meters. So now it's one platform. And now it's connected to US Smart Grid Exo. Uh, another interesting story, uh, we get feedback about that, you know guys, all these solar uh, uh, systems are not big. They don't generate a lot of power. But let's assume that we can switch off or uh, fool the system to say to Smart Grid that they generate a lot of power. What we will get? We will get cable melting effect. It's like it look, it's about uh, 10 k k kilovolts uh, short circuit. Uh, according to feedback from German uh, researchers, uh, they say that for European smart grid, for all Europe, if you will manage to uh, remove or add to a smart grid about 3 gigawatts, you will uh, have a uh, uh, big problem. You will get a big problem in all Europe. And uh, for sure, cable melting is bad. Uh, Postscriptum. Uh, it's not a big issue to find vulnerabilities in uh, ICS software. Our team for three years found uh, more than uh, uh, 200 of vulnerabilities and this year, uh, first year when uh, Siemens not in first place because uh, Schneider Electric uh, acquire uh, Wonderware and Advances and acquire all, all vulnerabilities in, in software of these systems. Uh, and I ch just to demonstrate how too easy uh, it, I want to uh, say about uh, our challenge in Positive Hack Days conference. When we built uh, toy railroad managed by real ICS software and say to everybody, guys, you can uh, connect here and hack it. If you will find zero day, it's your zero day, but you uh, must follow responsible disclosure way. So for two days, uh, our participants found more than 10 zero days vulnerability in Indusoft, in uh, uh, S7 PLC, uh, and in no name uh, uh, Taiwan uh, RTU. So it's very, very simple. Uh, but uh, in another interesting idea I want to share with you, it's what is cybersecurity for ICS world. Uh, it was a very uh, good idea uh, from uh, Marina Krotofil on uh, Congress this year, but uh, in IT domain we operate uh, confidentiality, integrity and av availability, but it's not correct for ICS world. We can operate with uh, operability, observability and controllability. Smart idea uh, and very funny, it's uh, CIA and CO2, but from uh, my point of view, it's not enough. Why? Uh, because in our uh, vision, ICS security is combination of information security, functional safety, and industrial security. And goals of cybersecurity for ICS should be delivered from all these three uh, worlds. Uh, how it can be uh, put it on uh, uh, practice. Uh, we can uh, separate three, three, sorry, we can separate three different layers of threats for uh, ICS system. First is industrial security. If threat uh, directly affects industrial safety, can ca uh, cause uh, man-made disaster. Second is uh, economic efficient. And third is uh, reliability issues. Uh, can I demonstrate it? So this is, uh, I don't want to read it, uh, but this is uh, my definition of uh, cybersecurity for ICS environment.
So we should not keep confidentiality, in, uh, uh, availability, and integrity. We should keep uh, against uh, dangerous failure. We should keep economic efficiency and uh, reliability level. Uh, several examples. Anybody here uh, know a computer-based interlocking system? I am railway engineer for my first education. So which picture is bad? Yellow or green? First one, I have uh, more t-shirts. Green one. green one. Excellent. Who said first? Come on. Why green is bad? Because uh, train will follow on highest speed uh, by the curve and can just, uh, if speed will be enough, uh, we will see something like this. This is first one. Uh, this is industrial, uh, in, uh, industrial dis uh, disaster. Uh, what I want to demonstrate, that often speak with uh, industrial people, you will speak about uh, safety integrity layer with uh, probability of fail or demand or per hour, but how we can speak about any uh, seal when all this system can be hacked in 50 minutes? Uh, second uh, uh, challenge, uh, which picture is bad, uh, yellow or red? Red one. Why? Because uh, road is locked, but uh, home signal is red. Train must go through the station, but it's prohibited by the light. So we will lose money because train will stop. This is second idea about uh, economic. And uh, my last T-shirt, uh, anybody, what is the mean time between failures for Windows-based HMI if the operator follows recommended patch management practice for Windows system? How often you patch your Windows? Uh, monthly. monthly. So it's correct answer. One month. It's very low for ICS. Very, uh, it's not enough. Uh, so, first one to guess last, uh, our largest humanity uh, catastrophe uh, prevented by SCADA Strange Love team uh, gets again a T shirt. It's uh, for everybody who saw our previous talk. Oh, it's a, a guy here. Okay, I will answer by myself. Uh, it's about Vinci COA, which operate in uh, CERN. Uh, if CERN update uh, to version 3.12, 3 uh, we can stop uh, terrorists who are evil genius accessing LHC and create black hole, which uh, will show the, our world. So we save the universe. Uh, and short post postscriptum. Uh, many people speak about network convergence when different type of system be become uh, connect to one system to by TCP technologies. What we see at moment is operation technology convergence. When different type of operation technologies like SCADA, like mobile carrier, like Beerman payment, internet, all the thing cloud connects together to manage uh, some task like smart grid for instance. And uh, for uh, last year, we spoke on different conferences on different uh, topics, like uh, on Black Hat about hacking ATM, just two slides. Uh, on Tokyo, on hacking uh, smart uh, SIM cards, and uh, on FOSIC uh, about uh, great train cyber robbery, and this is all about one thing. Just new idea, I'm crazy about it. Thank you.